We have a lot of patients on insulin, a lot of patients that are difficult to control. But as you look at the health statistics in the state of Virginia, um, out of the 132 counties um, that have been evaluated in the state, this county, McKinney County, Virginia, where the school's located, is dead last in terms of overall health statistics. We have nowhere to go but up. Um, our health outcomes are the worst in the entire state of Virginia. Whether it's financial or knowledge gaps or geographic difficulties, there's just a lot of reasons that people struggle around here to get the proper care they deserve. So health disparities most prevalent around here include diabetes, obesity, lung diseases, smoking, cigarette smoking is very prevalent here. In addition to the coal mining and the, the lung diseases that can occur because of that, um, addiction is a big issue in our region as well. A lot of it, unfortunately, is financial, especially with that crazy donut hole that we have to contend with. Yeah. Um, patients can be well controlled for months, and then all of a sudden, either they'll start um, giving less insulin in order to make their vial or syringe or pen, I mean, a vial or pen last longer, mm -hmm. so they're cutting back on their dose and losing control. Even the four dollar plans that some of the, the stores, the pharmacies offer, it's hard when when you have you know four or five different medicines and you know twenty dollars or sixteen dollars may not sound like a lot to us but a lot when they have nothing coming in when they watch these ads that are on tv a lot of times if they say any kind of side effects then the patient automatically thinks they have them or they just you know i threw that medicine away and a lot of people that you know didn't finish even elementary school so we had to mark a lot of bottles like am or you know, put a sign, like a sun on it, if we want them to take it in the morning, and then like a moon, if we pass in the moon, if we want them to take it at night. We had a Slim Possible event with our Diabetes Collaborative, uh, I guess it was about a month or two ago. And what it was, was it was, we had different organizations come in. Uh, Food City was one of them, and they actually uh, went over their uh, their point scale that they have. The new ball, I'm probably misinterpreting the name of it, but it, it was the point scale that actually showed how nutritionally based those were, those foods were in the store. Um, and we had different people, um, you know, from different gyms that was giving away free memberships. We had a dietitian come in and do a, a little 15-20 um, minute pro program about, you know, even things that you could try to, to do to eat healthier. Those folks will see me in consultation and subsequently they'll follow up with their physician, with their pharmacist. Well, certainly, to me, makes a lot of sense because that's somebody they typically are going to see on a monthly basis. Um, and when they see them for those medication refills and in between, they're going to gather some information. They're going to do an interview with them and maybe do some foot exams. I believe the intensification of their therapy with more frequent contact with the pharmacist that can provide education, medication review, identify somebody that's out of control and quickly contact me. Um, is going to be very beneficial in, in terms of getting people controlled easier and quicker. I would hope by the end of this that we could make it viable to have a pharmacist on the staff at a doctor's office or somewhere, um, you know, to be in collaboration with a doctor's office. So, I mean, some of the doctors, they don't have time to step-by-step uh, -step go over with their patient, and which is good while they have at Dr. Reinhardt's office, they have a dietitian, you know, they're having problems with diet, they can send them there. It would be nice if there was a pharmacist there to go over the medications with them and kind of just add to the team. So we all really uh, live in a, a community which is uh, overburdened by diabetes, both financially and uh, emotionally as well. And uh, we felt that uh, if we can mobilize pharmacists uh, to get involved with them, provide them the care, uh, we might be able to make a difference. Uh, we might be able to improve care and to change people's lives. And of course, it cannot affect the economic situation or the geographic barriers here, but I, at least we can.
can improve the quality of care they get.